again with another hair review duh because i'm obviously you know one of those kind of youtubers now <laughs> so i just wanted to show you how the wig came fresh out the box um it isn't pre-plucked but for some reason i mistakenly thought this was human hair just because of how good the hair actually is and as you can see it's not tangling at all what synthetic hair you know do this hmm I'll wait. <laughs> like, I've never had synthetic hair that was like this. Usually synthetic hair, especially when it's long, it'll tangle really, really, really bad at the ends, like when you run your fingers through it, but I didn't get that at all whatsoever. So I'm just showing you now how I plucked the hairline. I really didn't do that much plucking, to be honest, because in the end, I didn't wear my hair back like I had how, like how I had planned. Um, I had originally planned on wearing it straight to the back, you know, like tucked behind my ears real cute, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not really feeling that, especially with the waves that I have in it. I'm like, it'll look better just in my face. So what I do is I basically just part small section and I just start plucking but for some reason I don't know if it's because this hair is synthetic or maybe I'm an idiot and I can't you know pluck or use tweezers but the tweezers really was not doing the job for me it was like I don't know if I needed to get a new pair or I don't really know what it was but I eventually just like you know what I'm saying you can see it right here I just said you know forget the tweezers I'm just gonna like start ripping it out You need to be really careful with doing this though because me being me, I get really impatient and I start like pulling out too many hairs at once and you would definitely rip a hole in the lace. Like I've done that a few times. So definitely don't be me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not the way to go. But yeah, here I'm just kind of doing the same thing. I'm trying to use the tweezers, but I inevitably don't use the tweezers and I just start plucking by hand. Yeah, I didn't, like I said before, I didn't really pluck that much. What I focused on and what I would suggest anyone uh, focusing on is the part I feel like the part is like that'll make or break it like you can kind of be fine while doing the whole hairline if you're gonna wear a how I wore mine but if the part is not on point um absolutely not <laughs> So that's really what I focused on was the part in itself and later on in the video you'll see a clips of me um, actually putting the concealer on the actual part and that helps out a lot too because I didn't want to I didn't want to overdo the plucking because I've done that before. Yeah, it's over with after that. <laughs> I just take a little bit of mousse and I lay that part down because the bulkiness of any wig, not even this one, would like definitely give it away that it's a wig, if that even makes sense. But yeah, you really need to invest in some mousse because that definitely helps with laying the wig. And I'm actually taking like really big sections because I started off with taking smaller sections and that like was not working at all whatsoever. So my mom told me that I had to I, I had to take bigger sections for the actual curl pattern or wave pattern to actually work. So you need to either have spritz or you need to have some hair spray, sis. And you need to lather this up. Originally, I started off with the waver on like the lowest setting, but that was not working. So I was just really confused as to what was going on. And I'm like, you know what? Let me turn this all the way up. And it's so weird because I turned it all the way up and I used spritz and the hair did not burn at all whatsoever. Continue doing the same process, spraying it and then waving. I, I kind of left the waver on there for maybe like 30 to 45 seconds. And as you can see, like once I'm done, I kind of like rest the hair on my, my legs because it helps the wave like set a little better than if I than if I was just to let it like fall flat, if that makes sense. And right here, I'm kind of molding it how I want it to cool down and that actually helps how the waves come out as well totally don't recommend like like frying your 
you know, wig or nothing like that. I'm just saying what I did. Like, this did not sizzle at all whatsoever. Like, it didn't burn, didn't melt, didn't do any of that. And this waiver actually is from Target. I'm pretty sure you can probably get it at Walmart, too. It's only $29.99. Really good investment because I tried it on my actual um, mom's hair. And it came out really good. And then it actually did a really good job on this wig as well. So I'm proud of it. It's a good investment. <laughs> Cutting the lace is super easy and it's kind of like redundant. I don't really know why I showed this part, but yeah, you just cut it. You follow the line of the hairline and yeah, that's basically it. A lot of people I feel like have trouble with this part, but it's super easy. I mean, people do it different ways, but this is the easiest way to do it. Specs on this actual wig is obviously it's synthetic and it's red. The cap size is an average size. So I guess that's like a one size fits all kind of thing. The style is straight. It is a lace front. So that means the, you know, lace is from ear to ear. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify. The actual synthetic hair that it's made out of is heat friendly fiber high quality hair, which means that you can basically, you know, put heat to the synthetic hair, which is different from you know, like I said before, because I didn't understand what kind of hair this was. I was just really confused because I'm like, this hair does not seem like it's regular synthetic hair. It's really good quality. The price on this wig is actually $55, but I have a coupon code for you. This coupon code will give you $5 off of orders that's $30 or more. So if y'all really want to check out this wig or check out like all the other wigs that they have, I'll list everything in the description as I do always. I 10 out of 10 recommend this, especially, you know, since the, like, bright colors and stuff is really popping right now. And if you don't want to spend a ton of money on some blonde hair to, like, dye, this is a great alternative. This hair is phenomenal. Don't judge me for this part. I actually fixed it, but <laughs> I kind of put too much of the concealer on the part and it got all over the hair. But like I said, I fixed it, so we're not going to talk about it. I absolutely love how this wig came out. Like, I just want to give a special thanks to Hair Spills Hair Company for sending me this wig to review because it's so cute. So thank you and see you later.